Hello, my fellow investors, and welcome back to another dividend update video. So it is the end of October, and as I promised, let's take a look at the buys and the sells, the options premiums, which I did do something recently, and of course, the dividends. So before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, really does help with the algorithm on YouTube, as well as well. Make sure to follow us on XFL Investing, and join us on the Discord. The link is in the description below. So with that said, let's get started with this video. So let's actually jump into the options premiums because I really didn't do any buys or sell so far this month. Now, I understand that there's like, what, three more days to go, but I highly doubt that I will buy anything. Um, most likely towards the end of the week, I will, but that will be into November. Nonetheless, though, when it comes to the options premiums, I actually close my ABGO that I sold, my call for ABGO that I sold in September. Now, if you guys remember, I did sell this call for the expiration of November 15th. However, because the company just was falling down, right? It just, it really wasn't going up. The value of the contract actually fell down to $2 or two cents, which ends up being $2 per, per the hundred shares, right? So I decided, you know what? Let me not keep this here. Let's actually buy it back. It's $2. So I basically made $15.98 based off of this, uh, this contract over here. So yeah. There you guys have it. I only bought this one back because I kind of wanted to sell another covered call on AVGO for a much larger price next year, which you guys can see it is exactly what I did for the month of October. Sold a call for Broadcom on the 24th for the expiration date of January 17th of 2025. It was a call for a target of $265. Now, the reason why I actually chose $265 is because if this actually goes in the money by this point and I let it expire in the money, this will be 20 grand or at least the 20 grand that I would like to make from Broadcom to begin with by selling it. So yeah, that would be the 20 grand. That's actually going to be $20,200 if this thing goes in the money by January. Will it? I don't necessarily know, but if it does, then there you guys have it. I That would be my biggest sell, biggest profit to date ever actually period like biggest profit ever so as the main reason why i chose 265 dollars as a strike but it also had to do with the fact that this paid me 32 dollars so yeah minus the fees total profit for the month of october it is 31 dollars and 34 cents and if we take a look at the premium so far for this year yeah you guys can see that um it's been a rough year, right? February completely screwed me over, down $526. And I tried to bring it back up. You guys can see that for two months there, I really didn't do much. And well, with only two months left and me not actually selling the cover calls on like Chevron or anything like that, mainly just because I don't want to risk it. It looks like we're about to end the year close to negative $300. It's unfortunate. It really is. But for 2023, the portfolio made around $2,644.75 in options premiums income. Plus this negative 337 is still in the positive, but it's a pretty, it's a, it's a loss, right? It's a loss overall for the year. So now let's actually jump into the part that everybody pretty certain wants to see. And that is, of course, the dividend passive income and not a last change, guys, right? Not a last change since the last time I did this on October 15th, which, by the way, I did receive the uh, real estate income dividend. For some reason, I wasn't calculating it. But you guys can see that really isn't anything changed. And there's still one dividend missing. Only reason why I'm doing this video early is because it's only one dividend from one company, which is JP Morgan, and it's seven dollars and fifty cents. So I, I see as no point to just hold back anymore to just release the video when it comes to this month because it's it's this month. Nonetheless, though, so far for the month of October, portfolio has generated one hundred ninety four dollars and sixty two cents, with only seven dollars and fifty cents missing in the month of October, which ends up being a total of around what, like $202 overall. Not really surprising that these months are the worst ones. I mean, you guys can see right there, July was 284, April 180, right? And January of 228. So usually January, April, July, and October are the worst months. So not really surprising that this is this low. When it comes to the estimated income, we can see that for the year, it is $6,734.90. And the average monthly income, it is $561.24. Now, comparing this number to the previous Octobers, you guys can see that it's actually the highest of all the Octobers so far. This graph that you guys are looking at right here, for all those of you who are new, 
I've been tracking this dividend since I started investing in 2020. And you guys could see that October of 2020, the portfolio made $32.27. In October of 2021, $139.76. October of 2022, $189.71. October of 2023 actually went down to $154.95. The reason for this was is because there was one company that I had called Store Capital, S-T-O-R, that got bought out and went private. They paid out a lot and I had a lot of shares too. They paid out um, on these months, on the January, April, July, and October, which is why that dipped down last year. But you guys can see that it did go up 2024. So now $202.12 with the $7.50 that JP Morgan will give me on October 31st. And because this is the beginning of Q4 when it comes to dividends, you guys can see that so far we're at $202.12. You guys can see that we are at $202.12. But looking back at the last quarter, that was the best quarter to date. My goodness. $1,751.89. Absolutely insane right there. We did have a dip here in Q2, but Q3 was absolutely massive. And by the way, Q4 will be even more. We'll take a look at the next upcoming dividends when it comes to November and December. And I'll show you guys as to why that is the case. And if we take a look at the annual dividends so far tracked, we can see that we are less than $400 away from catching up to the entire year of 2023. And we still have two months left to go. Now, let's actually do something that we haven't done before. And I'm going to start doing this throughout the rest of these videos because I really would like to show everybody the next upcoming dividends and any companies that may or may not have increased their dividends for the next upcoming months. So I really would like to do that. And with that, let's actually run this program. Let's actually run this macro. We're gonna get latest dividends. Everything will get wiped out. It'll get refilled with the latest uh, ex-dividend dates, payout dates, current payouts, and all of that good stuff. So let's hit get latest dividends. This will wipe out the entire spreadsheet right over here. So you guys can see it is now getting completely wiped out and filling with the latest dividends from each company. See if there is any differences in any of them. And this will also update based off of uh, the yield on cost and all that good stuff as well. And as you guys can see then now that that is done. If so now if we actually take a look at the sort by date tab over here, we can see all the companies that are paying out for the days that are left that have announced any ex dividend dates or payout dates. And we can see that JP Morgan right there is going to pay out on October 31st. And they've actually increased their dividend by 8.7% from $1.15, now $1.25. Then on the first, we got Verizon, which increased their dividend by 1.88% from 67 cents to 68 cents. Scrolling down further, we got Microsoft paying out on the 12th of December increased their dividend by 10.67% from a payout of 75 cents up to now 83 cents. And Lockheed Martin's going to pay out on December 27th, increase of 4.76% from $3.15 to $3.30. And now looking into the future by an entire year, we can see all the estimated income that this portfolio would generate if I were to do nothing. Now, we can see that the dividends on the year increased by a whole lot. We just went from $6,735 essentially to the next 12 months of $7,394.42. And the monthly average going from $500.61 to $616.20. Again, it's assuming that I don't do anything. And for the month of November, we can see that it is estimated for the portfolio to generate $449.85, so essentially $450. However, the best month is going to be absolutely insane. It's going to be December. Oh my goodness. We got an estimated dividend of $1,200, essentially $1,200, $1,192. This has never happened before, right? This was the first time that this has ever happened. The portfolio... The portfolio hit, I kid you not, the portfolio hit $1,000 this year for the months of March, June, September, and December. And then in the same year, it hit nearly $1,200, which honestly, I may end up buying some more just to bring it up to that $1,200 mark because that is an insane goal. What a crazy year when it comes to the portfolio with a lot of milestones. 
And we can actually see that if I don't change anything from March, it will be even above $1,200. It'll be $1,205. So there's a lot of good stuff here to look forward to in the next year. And honestly, it may actually come to the point that by maybe not 2025, but maybe by the beginning of 2026 or the end of 2025, the portfolio may actually cover my rent in the months of March, June, September, and December, if things continue to go the way that they go. That's going to be an, an insane milestone, and that's going to be definitely a video to celebrate about. But guys, I think that'll pretty much do it for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. really does help with the algorithm on YouTube as well as well. Make sure to follow us on XFL Investing. And if you like, join us on the Discord, which is the best and fastest way to get these videos as they come out. Videos, shorts, live streams. Make sure to follow the link in the description below. For that, it is free. We'll keep it free. Eventually, if we have to put it behind the paywall, we will. But for right now, it's free. So enjoy that. Talk to people in the chat. There's a lot of knowledgeable people there. Sometimes Mike and I stop by as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, and we'll see you all next time.